In this presentation, I'm going to show you how you can use your TI-83 or 84 calculator and find the value of sample mean, sample standard deviation, and sample variance when a raw data is given to you. I'm going to pause at this time and give you a chance to copy the numbers on the screen and enter them into a list. Okay, I have entered uh, the data in list 1, in L1, and now I'm ready to do my basic computations. So to begin, we're going to start by clicking on Stat button. We're going to arrow to the right to go to Calculate. We're going to pick option number 1. It's already highlighted, so we can do that two ways. We can press 1 or we can simply press enter. Now I have set up my calculator so I'll show you how to do it without a menu. After this I'm going to show you again how to do it if your calculator has a menu. We need to uh, select a list and my list is L1. So we're going to go second one for L1 and then we need to execute this command by pressing enter. So my sample mean is 22.85 my sample standard deviation S is 7.62 if you round it to two decimals. Okay now let's try to do the same problem using uh, menu options in the calculator. Now some calculators have the menu, some calculators don't. So if in case you have a menu in your calculator you can do the following. We're going to start with the stat. We're going to right arrow to go to calculate. We're going to pick option number one by pressing one or pressing enter. Now the menu appears if you have stored the data in L1, you make sure that data is in list 1 and store it under list. So uh, I think the default is L1, but if you want to change it, you can change it to another list. For example, I'm going to put it in list 2. Or I'm going to change it back. I'm going to arrow to the left and I'm going to press second one for L1. You're going to arrow down. We don't want anything in frequency list. There will be a time that we have to have something there, but not for this example. And then we're going to arrow down again to calculate. And now we're ready to execute the calculation by pressing enter. And now, as you see, we get the same result as we did without the menu option. Okay, now let's uh, find the value of the sample variance. As we discussed this in class, you need to take the sample standard deviation S and raise that to the second power. So to do that, we're going to click on VARS. We're going to go to option 5 for statistics. And then we're going to pick option 3 for S. Now what we need to do, we need to square this. Square button is to the left of comma, and comma is directly above 7. So I'm going to click on X to the second. And I can execute this by pressing Enter. So this is the value of the sample variance. Now, if we wish to have this number in a reduced fraction, all we need to do is go to math. And option number one allows us to take the last answer 
and put it in a fraction. So I'm going to pick 1. Now we need to execute this command by pressing Enter. So the exact value of the variance for this sample is 22,051 over 380. I hope this presentation helped you understand how to find sample mean, sample standard deviation, and sample variance using your TI calculator.